What's up everybody? It's your boy Nate. I think Blender might as well be one of the best programs to have come out this decade. Not only is it completely free, but it is packed with features ranging from complex 3D animation tools to 2D animation tools to even some visual VFX and compositing stuff. But this software would not be nearly as dope if it wasn't thanks to these creators on this list pushing the software to its limits. Today's episode is super stacked. We're going to be diving in and talking about amazing techniques that they've come up with. I'm so Super excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. Now, again, this list is in no way in order of importance. These creators are just too dope to compare like that. But the last three on this list are gonna be my absolute favorites of all time. So make sure you stick around to the end so you don't miss out on one of the craziest creators and techniques that I've seen in Blender. Okay, so let's hop right into the top 10 crazy Blender techniques coming out from the community. User left specialist 1771 brings us this awesome claymation animation called Goats, in which he goes through these really awesome some looking claymation renders of different goats, meaning greatest of all times in sports. If you guys love that claymation style, you're for sure gonna love Win Nut because he has completely dominated it when it comes to creating all sorts of impressive looking claymation animations, ranging from character walk styles to completely fully 3D scenes. I'm just mind blown away with how he's getting these renders to look like this. Not only that, but Win shows us an awesome breakdown of his process. So if you guys wanna go ahead and show him some love, he's got some really dope work up on his Instagram. Yo, okay, so this one is from Blender Resi, who completely kills it when it comes to making a recreated Mandalorian scene all within Blender. That's right, this was modeled, animated, and rendered inside of Blender. I'm just mind blown that these results look like they could have came from the TV show itself. Not only that, but I had to show you guys something else that Blender Resi has created, which is this fully procedural knitting using geometry nodes. It's just mind blowing how impressive you can push geometry nodes, creating all sorts of crazy animations and models. Next up, we have one from user Russ3k, also known as Lucas Rusinik on YouTube. Lucas absolutely kills it when it comes to pushing Grease Pencil to its limits. The fact that he's able to model this using Grease Pencil and then rig it for character animation is so impressive. And I love how he even incorporates frame by frame animation into his works. The results give it this amazing style that's almost indistinguishable between being just 2D and animation or completely 3D software. I love it a lot, Lucas, and I hope to see more. If you're new here to the channel, you might want to consider subscribing and dinging that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned. We got more creators, we got more techniques, and we're going to be covering a whole lot of super dope 3D animation, visual effects compositing, and motion design right here on the channel. And hey, huge thanks to everyone who has been subscribing. By the way, I can see every single one of your names whenever it pops up. So not only does it warm my heart, but just feel comfortable knowing that I'm actually seeing you guys hit that subscribe button. Next up, we have one from user Martin Kleckner, aka CG Boost on YouTube. Here he creates this awesome looking lightning scene with an ocean that's just beautifully rendered. I was mind blown at how he was able to make this lightning strike act in a 3D way. And surprisingly, he uses grease pencil to simply draw out the lightning shapes. The amazing thing is that it records the exact way that it was drawn out. So you can get some really organic looking animations using this tool. If you're curious how he even made that and want to make it for yourselves, he's got a super sick tutorial on YouTube. So make sure you go ahead and check him out and show his work some love. Yo, next up we have one from Mr. Louis Man, aka Louis DeMont on YouTube. He brings us this really cute animation of this Easter bunny. I know Easter has just passed, but this animation is something that is going to last because it is so impressively rendered out. Take a look at just how well the hair rendering and the fur came out on this. I personally like the one that he also did two years ago, which he had this entirely built out animation, including some voice acting and some video referencing. The whole process is on his YouTube channel, and I think it's a really awesome animation and looked like they could be ported over to some sort of full length movie. Easter Bunny coming soon. <laughs> Yo, okay, so this one is not animated, but I feel like I had to show you this render. If you guys are hungry, your mouths may be watering right now because the way that the attention to detail when it comes to materials and lighting in this render is just so impressive. This one is from Gregory, and this ultra realistic render was created using Blender 3D and the Cycles render. Just take a look at the before and after. This right here is how it looks like in the 3D software with the modeling and just a little bit of the shading and lighting. But then once adding in those 
materials and really pushing the boundaries when it comes to those camera settings, how you can get those renders out nicely. It just brings this image to life and it invokes that feeling like, yo, I wanna just pick up one of those lollipops and suck on it. Okay, you guys aren't gonna catch me saying that. If you guys are curious just how dope Gregory is when it comes to ultra realistic renders, take a look at this other mountain view that he did using Substance Painter and Gaia. They're two separate softwares, but he's able to render this using cycles in Blender and the results just look amazing. Okay, so right now we are getting down to the final three. This is where things are starting to heat up. Take a look at these creators. Here we have one that actually has got a soft spot on my heart because I know a lot of our fans are from India. Here we have this amazing model and animation from user MR Reddit X, who creates this amazing Mortal Engine style Delhi city tank. If you guys don't know what Mortal Engines is, it's a movie in which cities were transformed into these portable machine tank things. I'm pretty sure the movie has different city tanks that are based off of cities in the UK, but seeing how user Mr. Reddit X was able to create one for Delhi, then also animate it, and it just came out super dope, just highly detailed, and really feels like it could have belonged right there in the movie. I'm just mind blown, and I love this work so, so much. I hope to see you make more cities that are maybe not represented in that film, because I think that would be an awesome project idea. Yo, okay, when I saw this animation, I thought it deserved to be a scene in the Lego movie. I know that the way that they put all their work into making everything feels grounded in reality. Yeah, that level of attention to detail was impressively replicated all in Blender 3D from user Zani 2 k 17 Zani actually worked on this really short animation for a super long time because he wanted the attention to detail to be that fine tuned down to where even the particles of sand needed motion blur. So he came up with this amazing workaround. I love the way that this Lego animation came out and I hope to see more. If you guys are enjoying the creators so far on this list, make sure that you ding that like button. Not only does it take just a little second of your time, but it's absolutely free as well and helps these creators get some more recognition. And of course, if you guys are curious who's creating all these super dope works, take a look down in that description box because you gotta go ahead and show them some love. Okay, so here we have one of the dopest Blender techniques and Blender creators that I've seen so far. This one is a 3D visualization of Reddit Place. If you guys don't know what Reddit Place is, it is a subreddit in which users can interact with the banner of it by inputting their own pixel and colors. And over time, people have created some amazing different artworks ranging from this Star Wars zoom in to a whole bunch of other super cool things. Not only that, but it's always continuously getting generated. So the Reddit Place 22 subreddit just went ham this year and it was amazing. But user Criss Cross Cash, also known as Christopher K, took this to another level by creating a Python script and using Blender to import all of that Reddit Place data set, then reformat and trim it, as well as generate heat maps for Blender and then render this awesome animation out. So that's exactly what you're seeing right now. I just love the way that this came out. And not only that, but this creator went ahead and actually gave us the source code and the project file. So you guys can go ahead and mess around with this on your own and just see how this even works if you're curious. Yo, so those techniques, when I saw them, just absolutely blew my mind. But I'm pretty sure you guys have seen some other dope work from other creators. So why not go ahead and leave a comment? I'm sure the rest of the community is just gonna love checking them out as well. If you guys wanna see more awesome Blender techniques or even After Effects techniques, make sure that you go ahead and check out this video that we got here on the channel. Not only will seeing other creators pushing Blender to its limits inspire you, but some of the creators on this list actually take it a step further and show us the complete breakdown and tutorials for creating these things of our own. So make sure you go ahead and check out this video because I guarantee you it's gonna help you out when it comes to creating different things in Blender.